have a question from Nancy in Florida. She's asking, do you have dreams when you sleep in, in the space station? And if yes, are they the same compared to the ones that you have on Earth? And um, absolutely, yeah, dreaming um, just like I would on Earth. Uh, sleeping is great up here. It's really comfortable. You know, you're, you're, um, your body just naturally moves into a completely natural position. Your arms kind of float up, and they find that they're kind of in this position, this kind of where the neutral position is. And um, it's very comfortable. I end up sleeping the whole night and not waking up at all. And uh, uh, but what, what is funny, though, is that you know, you're used to, I'm used to, you know, the, the weight of your head on a pillow, something that's comforting about that. You don't have that up here. So you can use like a, a bungee strap, you know, and, and kind of have it pull your head against the wall. We have our, we have basically sleeping bags and they're strapped to the wall. And um, you can put various straps around it to sort of give you something to, to hold you in place. What's funny though is, you know, oftentimes, you know, I'm, I'm basically in a, you know, in a sleep station, which is kind of like a, one of these uh, racks we have on the space station. and. You know, everything is arranged in there in a certain orientation, you know, the sort of an up and down. Um, I have pictures on the wall and in there and, you know, a computer and, and other things. And, um, but when I sleep, you know, when I, when I wake up, somehow I'm expecting that I'm on my back or lying flat. So all of a sudden, you know, when I, when I get up, when I wake up, I'm disoriented because, you know, I'm expect, I sort of think I'm back and, and everything, even though it's right in front of me, um, I feel like I must be rotated 90 degrees or something. So waking up, even still, um, wake up a little disoriented, and that's kind of strange. But um, anyway, sleeping is really wonderful in zero G. I'm going to really miss that a lot.